Dear friends, Namaste and welcome back. In this video, we'll continue discussion on Excel sheet for concrete mixed proportion. We'll directly open the Excel sheet. So far, uh, in previous videos, we have completed step zero, step one, and uh, now we will focus on step two, that is the selection of water cement ratio. Selection of water cement ratio is based upon IS 456 table five. So this is IS 456 table five. Uh, it is giving both uh, water cement ratio as well as minimum cement content for both plain and reinforced concrete. So ours is reinforced concrete and for minimum grade of concrete, for minimum grade of concrete, we have selected M40. For this, the water cement ratio is 0.4. So uh, now the challenge is for different grades, right from M20, through M40, we have the free water cement ratios and this should get selected based upon the grade of concrete. Let's see how this idea is implemented. Uh, here, uh, I have um, implemented this idea with the help of uh, a token. A token is nothing but a kind of a number which uh, identifies the grade of concrete. The logic is simple. For uh, if the grade of concrete 20, the token will be 1. If the grade of concrete is M25, the mm, token is 2. And grade of concrete is M30, token is 3. So also for 35 token is 4. For remaining things, the token will be 5. Uh, so, sorry, for M40, the token is 5. For remaining things, the token is 0. So let us go back and look at how it works. See, for M20 token is 1, I can pick up this uh, water free water cement ratio. So also for M25.5, M30 and 35.45 and for M40 onwards it will be 0 0.4. This is the if condition that I have used uh, as I sh uh, have shown previously and having known the token we can pick up the water cement ratio. For an example this token is 1. That is when token will become one, when grade of concrete is 20. So what cement ratio is 0.5. Similarly, grade of concrete is two. What cement, what is that M25? So uh, grade of, I mean, what cement ratio is 0.5. Similarly, for M30 and M35, that's why R is used. For token three and four, the water cement ratio is 0.45. From M40 onwards, whatever may be the grade, the <clears throat> water cement ratio will be 0.4. See, you can uh, verify. See, for M20, 0.55. See, for M20, 0.55 matching. Let's check for M35, it should be 0.45. So if I select M35, 0.45, our case is M40. So what should be the value for M40? It is 0.4. M40, 0.4. Good, working fine. Now, having done this, let us move on to the step three, that is the selection of water content. 
how much water. This is a very interesting discussion. So prior to that, let's see what code tells about this. We go back and selection of water content. From table two, the maximum water content is 186 liters for a slump value of 25 to 50 mm. So what is table two? Let's look into the table two. This is table two for different aggregates. The maximum water content is recommended and you should also uh, adjust your water content based upon the slump value that is uh, workability. So let us uh, read few lines of the code. So it, this clearly tells that for a slump of 25 to 50 mm range, you can pick up the water content from table two. That is based upon the aggregate, right? Afterwards, uh, for any additional slump of 25, you can see, um, for any additional slump of 25 mm, you can increase the water content by 3%. Okay. Suppose if you have selected 100, so uh, how many additional 25s are there? Two additional 25s are there. So um, that means you have to go for 6%. So the table two is for a slump value of 25 to 50 mm of slump. For any additional 25% mm slump, you should increase the water content by 3%. Let us uh, see um, the illustration also. See, for table two, for 20 mm aggregate, this uh, value from the table two is only for 25 to 50 mm slump. So 25 to 50 mm slump, it is 186 liter. But uh, our slump value is 100. You, if you can see from the description of the problem, workability is 100 slump, you can see this here. 100 mm slump. That means in addition to 50, there are two more 25. So we have to enhance the water content by 6%. So that was done. And again, a super plasticizer is proposed to use. So if that is the case, you can reduce the water content by 20% and above. So uh, based on the uh, hit and trial, uh, this uh, value, he fixed it as 29 in this uh, particular example. I am calling this particular factor, which, uh, which can be fixed uh, from the experimentation, from uh, the experimentation of uh, concrete cubes, or, uh, from trial and hit and trial method. So I call these factors as a reduction factor. Reduction factor that works on water content. So this is 29% reduction uh, he is applying. So let's go back to the Excel sheet and understand how we can implement the logic. So aggregate size, directly pick up the aggregate size 20 mm. You will get the water content for 25 to 50 slump as 186. 25 to say 186. You can see in the table better. You see in the table 186. On top of it, you have 225 mm, that is 100 mm slump. Your slump is 100 mm. So that's why I will also give the slump value other than 25. The case is other than 25. If that is the case. How many additional slums in multiples of 25 is there? Two are there. When two are there, this is the water content. And now I should apply the reduction of water content. So I am applying a 29% reduction. So 
140 liters that is 140 liter so this reduction is because we are adding a super plasticizer so when you add the super plasticizer you can bring down the water content and uh, super plasticizer without compromising the workability that is the main purpose of adding the uh, super plasticizer okay so this is how you can uh, find out the water cement ratio and also most importantly selection of water content so in the next video we will uh, continue our discussion on the remaining uh, steps thank you for watching this video